the biggest reason that you will come off creepy when you talk to women is because you are worried about being creepy, okay? If you're worried about coming off like a creep, right? And this is not for guys that have no social awareness, for guys that like genuinely creep women out and they just don't realize it because they're socially inept. But if you're someone that's hypersensitive to the fact that you might creep women out and you're worried about it, the reason that you're creeping women out is because you're worried about it, okay? Because there's this, there's this concept called emotional mirroring that happens when you're talking to anyone, but especially with women, because they're very good at picking up on social cues and emotional, they, they have very good emotional intelligence. There's this thing that happens where she will feel how you feel, okay? And so if she's feeling how you're feeling, then she is gonna feel incredibly uncomfortable when you're talking to her because you are incredibly uncomfortable when you're talking to her because you are thinking, am I being creepy? And so she's gonna start thinking, is this guy being creepy? I can't tell. He's acting like he might be creepy. He's acting like I shouldn't talk to him. The biggest thing that you can do when you're talking to women and you wanna get better at talking to women, seducing them, or like even just like getting them interested at all right? The biggest thing you can do, I don't know why I said seduce, that's such like a cringe word, but the biggest thing you can do when it comes to attracting women is to think that you belong there. Women are genuinely interested and open to talking to an attractive, cool guy, not even physically attractive, just an interesting, charismatic guy that has his shit together, that is, even if you don't have your shit together, that is working on getting his shit together they are very genuinely interested and they would be happy to stop what they're doing and talk to that kind of guy 90% of the time, okay? And so you have to act like you belong there. You don't have to act like you demand her attention or you deserve it. You don't have to act super entitled and weird about it, but you should act like it is normal. The biggest thing that has like held guys back from talking to women and getting better with women is that they don't think it's normal. They're like, oh no, that's weird, bro. They're hanging out with guys that are like, no, you shouldn't approach that girl because it's weird. Or you shouldn't talk to that person, that's weird. Oh, that person talked to me at the gym, it was really weird. If you're judging everything as weird, you will never get anywhere in this life, especially socially. You're gonna struggle for the rest of your life. You're never gonna make new connections. You're never gonna make new friends. It's gonna be impossible to meet new people, okay? Because you are so caught up in not being weird that you never have any experiences. You never talk to people. I actually have a client that was worried that his um, his facial expressions were like too weird. And he was like, how do I control my facial expressions so I don't get weird? And it's like, dude, that is not how you do it. <laughs> you know, you can't be worried about your facial expressions. You have to realize that you fucking belong, bro. Like, I'm talking to you watching this video. You have to realize that you belong, all right? You have to realize you belong. You deserve to talk to that girl just as much as anybody else. You deserve to go up and have a conversation with a random person. You can do that. It is something that's fully in your control and it's normal. And if you think it's weird, then maybe you're just hanging around the wrong people. The guys in my community, in my coaching community, those guys that get coached by me, they think it's normal to approach women because that's all we talk about because I coach them on how to talk to women, right? That's a big focus for them. They're working on getting better with women. And so it's normal. So in my community, it's actually very normal to talk to women. And in other communities, it's weird, it's creepy. But guess what? When you're in the real world and no one's judging you online, no one's trying to you know, get back at you because you were being a weirdo or whatever, no one's trying to do any weird shit. In the real world, girls are actually really open to talking to you. <laughs> people are very open to talking to new people. The only times in my life where people haven't been open to talking to me have been when I've heavily judged myself or other people for talking to random people. I actually just met a guy in the gym today who I think is like gonna be a very valuable connection for me. I'm probably gonna make a lot of money and my business is gonna get a lot better just from having this guy in my life. He's also a personal trainer, so I'll probably get in better shape just by knowing this guy. Like he's already helped me once with one lift that hit one muscle group better. And it's like that all happened just because I was open to talking to people. Whether I felt shy or whatever, it didn't matter. I felt like I deserved to be there. I deserved to be talking. And you have to feel that too. You have to believe that you deserve to talk to that girl. You have to think it's normal because it is normal. If you act 
like it's normal to talk to women, they're going to act like it's normal too. It's going to feel normal to them. There have been times where me or some of my friends that I came up in like the whole like pickup thing, you know, like I used to do pickup back in the day and uh, some of my friends that would like pull or even this has happened to me, like you'd pull a girl back and then after she left, she'd be like, wait, whoa, that was like crazy. But it feels normal in the moment because you're acting like it's normal, right? When you're smooth and charismatic and you act like everything's normal, she's going to feel that too. And so you have to understand that you have to believe as the leader, because you need to be the leader in your interactions. I hate to say it. You have no choice, but to be the leader. If you want real results with women or really with anything in life, if you know, if you don't want to be a leader and if you don't want to learn from other people and if you don't want to change the the type of person you are, you're probably not going to get anywhere in life. Just in general, you're probably destined to be broke, probably destined to date mediocre women or not date at all, or maybe date uh, occasionally and then settle for the first girl that comes along. Um, you're probably destined for that if you're not willing to learn from other people and change who you are and really be a different person, right? Because you have to believe that you're the leader. You have to believe that everything's fine, everything's normal, and you're going to figure it out. And that is the hardest part. So I want you to just take away from this video that it's on you to make things normal. If you want to stop being creepy, if you want women to not think you're a creep, you have to stop thinking you're a creep because <laughs> the biggest reason that they think that or they might think that is because you're worried. You're like, oh, it's not normal. Well, stop hanging out with those loser friends that tell you it's weird to approach women. Stop hanging out with the people that tell you that you shouldn't watch videos on the internet about how to talk to girls because it's fucking creepy because it's not. It's normal. We're all trying to get other people into relationships with us. Everybody's doing that. Girls are trying to get relationships with the cool guy. They're trying to manipulate him to get into a relationship with her. We are trying to manipulate the girl into getting into a relationship with us. We're trying to manipulate our friends to do what we want them to do. We're trying to manipulate business partners into striking deals with us. We're trying to manipulate people into buying our shit. That's what everyone's doing. <laughs> Everyone is manipulating everybody. So stop worrying about if you're a bad person. And as long as you have good intentions at heart and you're actually a good person and you want the best for everyone in your life, you will do good things. But you have to be able to influence people. If you can't influence people, having influence didn't make Hitler a bad person. Him being racist and hating Jews and wanting to kill millions and millions of people, that's what made Hitler a bad person. It was not because he was charismatic that he was a bad person, right? Same thing with Ted Bundy. Like he killed people. That's why he's bad, not because he was charismatic, all right? And so you have to be charismatic if you want to do anything great in this life. You have to, you have to, okay? So stop surrounding yourself with losers that tell you it's weird to talk to girls. Stop surrounding yourself with losers that tell you that you shouldn't be able to just go up and approach anybody you want. Stop hanging out with those people and start hanging out with people that actually wanna win. Start, start hanging out with guys that actually have your best interest in mind and want you to reach your goals. Start doing that and your life will change forever, all right? Take that from this video.